GPS says this is the right place. Hi. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Carolyn Burnett with Sound of Lexington, and we've got Jesse Taylor with us today, and host Billy Crank. Enjoy. Hey guys. Hello. Billy Zane, come on. Seriously? <laughs> awesome <laughs> comedian. Yes. I don't thank you, man. I appreciate that. Amazing. I'm, well, I mean, you guys check him out on YouTube. Billy Crank. The man's going places. I'm yeah. telling him. Billy Crank. <laughs> Billy Crank. Billy Crank. He said Zane. <laughs> it's because he's Zane. Crank, man. Crank. 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 That's Zank. That, that, isn't that a vitamin? That is a vitamin. No, zinc. 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 <laughs> Funny guy watching. I'm, I'm here with Jesse Taylor, singer, songwriter, awesome musician. Um, what inspires you, Jesse, to uh, write the music and um, do what you do, brother? Horrible ex-girlfriends. You know what? Uh, that just absolutely reach in, grab your heart, throw it uh -huh. on the ground, and just punch it. But it was all, I did it on purpose, obviously, to get material to write for, obviously. Oh, God. <laughs> right, right. So that was purposely, purposely done. I, I, done yeah. I feel oh, yeah. that. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how long have you been doing this? Um, I wrote my first song when I was 10 years old. Ten? Wow, yeah. 10 years old, yeah. brother. That's, that's, that's early. Yeah, I've been writing ever since. I was never much of a cover kind of person. Mm -hmm. um, uh, learning other people's material um, or sitting in on blues jams, I just can't do it. I, uh, not that I couldn't possibly one day, but it's just not been something that I've wanted to do. So. All right. Well, what, who's an artist that inspires you? Um, now or old? Um, well, well, both. Who, who's like maybe your first? Buddy Holly was. Buddy my, Holly. Wow. He, he was the one that inspired me to. Uh, I remember being a kid and watching that movie with Gary Busey, The Buddy Holly Story. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I have a bit of a temper, so when I saw that uh, scene mm -hmm. where he punched the, uh, the producer out for mm -hmm. trying to change his music, I was like, that's what I want to be when I grow up, so I can just punch somebody and make music. <laughs> right. so, um, and he's a brilliant writer. His stuff is still being uh, redone today. But, mm -hmm. And somebody uh, recent that's come out, um, uh, Jason Isbell um, and uh, Gary Nichols from the Steel Drivers, very good musicians and songwriters, and, uh, and also tempers. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Right on. I'm a redhead, so. That's, hey, that's cool, man. Uh, so I hear that you used to own a music store. I did. Um, I, How'd that go for you? Did you enjoy that? or? Actually, <laughs> yeah. Because you like music, so. <laughs> you might want to add this one out. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think musicians are horrible people. That's <laughs> why keep it on. No, yeah, I had a good time. I met a lot of good people, um, uh, but the uh, the economy just wasn't uh, working for local business, and I uh, had to let it go. But uh, I enjoyed all the people I met that came in the store, and uh, and you know it was made a lot of good friends. Made a lot yeah. of good friends that uh, will be my friends forever. Um, I don't regret any of it, but uh, I am relieved that it's closed. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 can, I don't I can have to worry anymore. Right, I can understand the pressure and all mm -hmm. that. Okay, uh, well, um, I, you're from Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how, how long have you been here in Kentucky, from well, Virginia? From Virginia, I moved here in 1987. Um, I was 10 years old. And uh, don't add that up to find out my age. Uh, as, uh, my dad brought me here. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in the Shenandoah Valley in Luray, and uh, my grandfather played music, and uh, I watched everything he did, and I duplicated it. And so, uh, the style of guitar that I play, uh, as far as the, you know, the rhythm stuff, uh, bluegrass rolls, and rock and roll stuff that, that I do, it was all just based off of, uh, loosely based off of what he does, um, to fill up space and sound. I've, all, and I've always been a three-piece kind of person, uh, mm -hmm. drums, bass, and guitar, um, and there really has not been room for something else because of my style. You know? right. But yeah, I like that old, I like old bluegrass music and old... Uh, well, I can tell so, some of your music, it's, it's a collaboration of different, different styles, and, and then together it's your own style. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's fascinating. Yeah, I can, I can never get the country voice, but uh, it, my voice is, is unique in its own, but I mm -hmm. could never, never get, you know, duplicate my heroes like George Jones or, or stuff like that. I could never well, before you know it, somebody would be trying to duplicate you. <laughs> Good so. luck with that. It's, <laughs> it's like trying to duplicate Tom Petty. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 
We're good. Right. Let's talk about him. No, let, let's talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a big fan. I'm starstruck, man. I think he's a great comedian. And oh, wow. I think it's a really good show that you have somebody like this on here uh, from Kentucky that uh, and that's doing something in the in entertainment industry as well, as far as music and entertainment. Um, great show. Good. Uh, I'm looking over at the person who put all this together, Caroline. Yes. You know, yeah. Great people. So, good job. Well, well, we're very happy to have you here. We enjoyed listening to you. Thank you. Um, Carol, would you like to add anything to uh, to this interview? Well, I don't know. I heard, I've heard a lot of uh, different things, you know, about you over the last few days especially, and so I know that you did, uh, you were going to move to Texas. Uh, yes, I was. Um, I was going to, and uh, we decided to, uh, Gary Nichols from the Steel Jowers wanted to keep me here to record a record in March, and then I'll, you know, go to Austin with a record is pretty much the plan, so. Okay. Yeah. So. You do have uh, something in the works, uh, maybe a possible album? Yes, it will be recorded in March. In March, okay, mm -hmm. that's great, that's great. Yeah. What's, can, can you tell us, give us one of your favorite pieces on that album that you're going to have? It would be the one that I co-wrote with Gary, it's uh, Feeling Down Days. Feeling uh, Down Days. Mm -hmm. All right. It's the struggles with addiction and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, uh, it's Some of it's going to be edgy, I understand that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But I think that's what kind of what music needs right now. Well, yeah, we need that. Yeah, it's the kind of just pointless you know, pointless lyrics. It, my, yeah. uh, I, I don't mind being a little edgy. Yeah, so, a little brutal honesty yeah. in there is, is a, a good little touch to uh, to music to grab people's attention and right. really get them to listen and feel feel what you're saying. Well, that's the stuff that lasts a long time. It is, yeah. it is. Yeah. You got that? Mm -hmm. What about uh, JT and the brush, uh, Kentucky Brush Fire? <laughs> Sherry McGee, I love her so much. Mm -hmm. um, that's the daughter, uh, stepdaughter of Greg uh, Martin from the Headhunters. Is my drama. She's wow. uh, she is so amazing, and uh, uh, she is. I'm hoping that she goes uh, with me uh, on the road and stuff like that. Once the record gets done, um, I don't. I couldn't imagine doing anything without her. She's just a blast. Uh, she is. Yeah. She's a firecracker. She is a firecracker. You saw her last night. You talking about the Kentucky yeah. Headhunters? Mm -hmm. No kidding. That's wow. That's a good uh, Martin's daughter. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I remember sitting in front of the TV when I was younger watching. Dennis Walker? Yeah, well, <laughs> wa wa watching, uh, watching their video. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mom was like, hey, they're from Kentucky. <laughs> you know. So what gave it away, Mom? Kentucky <laughs> Right. <laughs> Well, it was a pleasure having you, Jesse. Man, don't want to take up too much of your time. Check him out. On Check YouTube. him out on YouTube. <laughs> what? What? You, YouTube. Him. No. Him. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse, Jesse Taylor. Thank Check him out. Sound of Laston. Awesome. That's a wrap.